Hi, I'm Warren Frisk, president of Apple Industries, the maker of FacePlace Photo Booths. I'm here in our New York office and showroom today, and I'd like to explain to you how to use our new FacePlace Photo Booths. I'd like to start by explaining our new Smile 2.0 software and hardware package that comes in all our new photo booths, with the exception of Magazine Me, which has its own custom software. First, I'll explain what the new hardware includes. It includes a 17-inch touchscreen monitor. It includes a new, enhanced, high-powered computer. It includes a cradle point unit, which allows you to connect your unit directly to the internet. You can connect to the internet either through hardwire, Wi-Fi, or an air card from a variety of service providers. Fourth, it includes a microphone for audio. And fifth, it includes a credit card reader, which comes standard in all our equipment, other than the photo to go and the wedding. The credit card reader is vitally important because as we know, the currency of choice for today's young consumer is credit or debit card. The new software features of Smile 2.0 have three key elements to them. First, it allows you to upsell your customer. What that means is after they make their initial purchase of two photo strips, they then have the option of purchasing additional photo strips or four by six photos of any of the pictures that they took in the booth. Second, it allows the customer to email their photos either to themselves or to friends and family or post their photos on Facebook or tweet them, all being done directly and instantly from the booth while they're in it. Those two features, the upsell and the posting to the social networks, have increased our sales and booths that are already out there by 20 to 30 percent. The third key feature of Smile 2.0 is it allows the operator to get emailed reports directly from the booth, either daily, weekly, or monthly, however he chooses to get them. These detailed reports tell the operator whether the booth is working, how much revenue is going into the booth, and how much paper and ink is left in the booth. The fact that you can get these reports daily or weekly will cut down on the number of times you have to visit the booth and also cut down dramatically on booth downtime. There is no photo booth in the industry today that has all of these key features. I guarantee these features will dramatically increase revenue in your photo booths. Now we're going to go inside the booth so I can demonstrate exactly how it all works. And to start, you can either hit start or anywhere on the screen. Now it's telling me to insert $5. Obviously, this could be set for any amount of money. You can pay by cash or credit card. I'm going to use a credit card. I've swiped my credit card, it's charged me $5, and now it's going to let me select which program I'd like to use for my photos. I could use classic photo strips, choose between color, black and white, sepia, or a combination. I could use fun borders. We have any number of options for fun borders, and we're constantly updating and adding fun borders to the selection. You could use crazy hair. Put your face in any number of crazy hairstyles. We have a face replacement program. Again, it puts your face in a bunch of different styles and fun, some fun programs. And passport style, which is very simple for passports. I'm going to choose classic style. Now, we've added a logo to the bottom of this photo strip. So you see, you can take three photos and add a logo, or you can allow the customer to use four photos. Putting a logo in allows you to advertise a location. Right here we've put in the Long Island Ducks, which is a minor league baseball team which we've just uh, sold a photo booth to, and they've elected to include their logo as a form of advertising in the photo strips. So I'm going to choose color photos. Now it's going to take three pictures. Without a logo, it would have taken four pictures. Now it's giving me an option to either take the picture again if I don't like it, or say yes, I like these photos. If I selected no, try again, it would only allow me to try one more time. But I obviously like these wonderful photos, so I'm going to select yes. And now it's printing the two photo strips that I purchased for $5. But now it's giving me an option to upsell the customer and allow the customer to buy more photos and share them through social networks. So I could print more photo strips if I'd like, or I could print any of these four by sixes. You could see the three photos that it took. I could print one of them, three of them. And I could also share any of these, or all of them, either by email, Facebook, or Twitter. So I'm going to start by choosing the photo strip. I'm going to print an additional two photo strips. 
at $5 Vend. I also want to email this photo. We've actually set this to be free emails. Um, some people may want to do that so they can collect email addresses for free. And we've also set Facebook and Twitter to charge a dollar a piece. So I've checked the email and Facebook and additional two photo strips. I'm going to add that to my order. And I'd also like to get a 4x6. I'm selecting that 4x6. I'd like to get one of those. I'm going to add that to my order. And now I'm done. I want to pay for this. It's telling me that the total additional charge is $11. That's because I bought another two photo strips, a 4x6, that's $5 each. And I'm sharing it on Facebook for another dollar. Now it asks me if I'd like to make a video to share. I'm going to select making a video. And the video can be posted either to Facebook or Twitter or emailed as well. And now I'm going to make a video. It allows you to start recording when you're ready. Hi, I'm in the photo booth showing everybody how the new Smile 2.0 software works. It's a great product, best in the industry, and we hope you uh, like it. Stop whenever you want. Now it's asking me how I would like to share my video. Either email, which again we've set for free, but you could charge for that. Post it on Facebook or Twitter. I'm just going to select um, email and Facebook. Add that to my order. Now it's showing that's a total additional charge of $12. Now that's in addition to the $5 that I've already spent. So this vend is a total of $17. And it's telling me to either insert my credit or debit card or cash. I'm going to swipe my credit card. And now it's asking me for the email information. So it's asking me who it's coming from. And by that, you'll be able to collect people's email addresses and who I want it to go to. And now it's asking me how I want to post it to Facebook. It asks for the user information. I'm going to put in the caption now. And now I'm going to share it, post it to my Facebook. Now everybody's going to see on my Facebook wall that I was at the Long Island Ducks game. I took some fun photos. Now I'm sharing the video on Facebook. In the time that I was doing that, I actually received the email of the photo that I took in the booth and that I sent to my email address. Again, it's got the Long Island Ducks logo in it, so anybody that I send it to will see the Long Island Ducks logo. Now I'm going to pick up my photos from the photo shoot. I have the four photo strips that I purchased. I have the four by six that I purchased. I have everything sent to my email account. I have things posted to my Facebook. And the process is finished. Uh, if you'd like to order a Face Place photo booth or you have any more questions, please call us at 516-619-8000 or visit us online at www.faceplacephoto.com. Thanks again.